Welcome to Ms. Prince Physical Science Connection. Today's topic, physical and chemical properties. When you observe the two objects, what questions come to mind? Do you think about what material was used to make up these items? What about how they look? Can they sink or is their density lower than the density of another substance allowing them to float? What do you think? Physical properties describe the appearance of a substance or object. It also describes their melting, boiling, freezing points, density, the ability to shine, the ability to bend, and whether they're magnetic or not. Chemical properties describe changes a substance may undergo during a chemical change. It doesn't mean that the changes have already taken place. It's like Superman. You know, he has the ability to fly, but it doesn't mean that he's up in the air flying at the moment. Chemical properties tell you what can potentially happen when the substance interacts with another, but it doesn't mean that the change is taking place at that moment. So physical properties don't change the object. They are just the characteristics that help you identify that object. Chemical properties aren't really telling you um, what that object looks like, but they're telling you the types of changes that can happen. So when you look at an apple, you know that apples come in three colors, red, yellow, and green. You know, they're round with smooth surfaces. They have seeds in the middle. Uh, and when the apple is exposed to air, it will begin to turn brown. So of those descriptions, what are physical properties and what are chemical? Now we'll watch a video on the properties of matter. But before we watch the video, let's consider the following question. What was the most obvious difference between physical and chemical properties based on the examples shown in the video? Okay, so pause the video here and pull up YouTube and search for this particular video by WebQuestify on the properties of matter, physical and chemical properties, and then come back to the video and follow with the next slide. Okay, so now that we've covered physical and chemical properties, let's go back to our lab notes on the banana and yeast lab, and let's observe the data that we collected on the banana without the yeast and identify its physical properties and its chemical properties. <laughs> 